I like having shallow drawers at a convenient height like these, but they're already full, so I thought I'd take some of these boxes that I made to organize underneath the kitchen cabinets uh, maybe four years ago, and uh, turn those into drawers to go underneath this table here. And I'll just make a frame that they slide into because I actually kind of like how they look here. There's going to be three cradles side by side like this without a bottom and then the uh, drawers slide in them like this. There's a missing corner here but that doesn't matter, it's just the shape of the wood. I'm just going to glue on one set at a time, that way it's easier to keep things aligned. If I pull this drawer more than halfway out, I don't want it to just fall out like this, so I need some kind of a top guide right here to prevent that from happening. And I made this spacer just a bit taller than the drawers to help me position the top guide and glue it on here like that. So I've gotten into the habit of sanding wood that's been lying around for a while just a little bit before gluing because there will be a little bit of atmospheric surface grind on there and that can adversely affect glue adhesion. I did a test on that a few years back, I didn't record any of it, but it did make the glue joints noticeably weaker. I got the cradles in the drawers here, but I need to make sure that the bottom of these doesn't kind of flex outside the side and I figure it would look nice to have sort of a rail on the front like that just to kind of visually tie them together but uh, to screw these on on the end it's easy enough I can just put a screw in from the outside I don't want to screw from the front so I think I'm just gonna to have to come in at an angle like this and cut a notch here not a pocket a notch Now I have to figure out how this will actually fit under the table. This part is going to go on here like this. And uh, I've got these uh, parts of the table that fit in here, which means I need to shorten this part off here. I also have to make sure those rails fit along the back too. Okay, time to fit this in the table. Gotta check it with the drawer before I commit to it any further. I fastened that back rail with just two screws to fix the position and then I took that whole frame out again to get the rest of the screw holes in on the workbench. And now with the screw holes for mounting it drilled, I can put it back in. I just put some 2x4s underneath the legs because that table is a bit low. And I also glued in some blocks in the back which acts as a depth stop to get the drawers all flush on the front. Now I can put the top back on. I made wooden drawer handles for those drawers and I didn't film that part because I made a video about making drawer handles just like these not long ago. I added a little block on the back of these drawers so that way they can hang out a little bit further because I have plenty of room in the back. And I had my time-lapse camera running while I built that and I'm sure some of you are curious how long did it take? So looking at the actogram view this day here, I'll just mouse over that, that was preparing for the materials and then building it here and then I still had to uh, make some drawer handles and put it in there and I also cleaned up the dust collector. So the uh, build of this thing for the drawers itself 
was four hours and then another 45 minutes or so making the drawer handles and then a lot of time just tidying it up, varnishing it. Uh, I also emptied out my dust collector back here while I was at it. So uh, total time was seven hours, but only four hours on the actual project itself.